Hello everybody and welcome back to Gardens and Crystals with me Wesley Peterson and I am out here in the area of my garden called Yorkins Corner in the middle of my beautiful amazing hosta collection around me but this video today is all about the amazing experiment I did when I decided to stratify northern red oak acorns and produce myself some beautiful young trees that I'll be able to plant out in my garden. This has been an amazing experiment. Now I did a video before where I showed you my acorns from when they were first very young and had been stratifying in my fridge for many months. And then I took them out, cleaned them off, potted them up into these containers. So I suggest that if you haven't seen that video, please go back and see that video first so you can see the whole process because I started stratifying these acorns October 2021. So, and it was the beginning of October. So it's October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June now. So there has gone nine months to get my trees growing out to these little saplings that they are right now and I took seven acorns that I didn't test to see if they were viable by putting them in water to see the ones that sink that are viable and the ones that float that aren't. I just decided to stratify them all and just see which ones would come out and all seven got roots and after that initial phase when I put them in the pots and they started growing out even more like they are now I have six left one went dormant and didn't grow out. It grew a root, but it didn't carry on growing out. But six of them did, and I am so pleased about this because in my garden here right now, I have the English oak, but these beautiful red, northern red oak, they get the darkest, most gorgeous red leaves in the autumn time. And that is what I'm looking for in my garden to give some contrast. So at the moment you can see they're very green, but they will turn a lovely bright dark red color in the autumn as they mature and grow up. So these have been doing pretty well and I want to get them in the garden now as quickly as possible because they are starting to get a little bit of drying. I had these outside my apartment until now where I brought them to my cottage here and they were being attacked by green aphids and other insects so I wanted to bring them here and get them out in the nature as quick as possible so that beneficial insects can help to protect these plants so they can carry on growing up and they're also starting to get some kind of markings on the leaves so something's happening with just a couple of them so now I need to get these plants up out of their pots into the garden so I want to show you the ones that have something going on with them first a little bit of disease or something just to show you what can happen. So this is one of my beautiful Quercus rubra and if you look at this leaf here, which one is it? Yeah and if you look at these leaves you can see there's some bumping going on so they've been attacked by some kind of insect or fungal disease so I want to get these out now so that they can get their root deeper down into the soil and start producing new leaves. But these leaves have come out and they're pretty big. Look at my hand. They don't look very oak-like at the moment on this plant. But well, you can see the acorn down at the bottom. And the funny thing about these plants was that most of them, if not all of them, have actually produced two layers of leaves and then they stop growing. So they've all had a period here now where they spurted out all this very, very quickly within a matter of weeks and then they stop growing. So we'll see what happens when I get them planted out. Let's have a look at another one. So you can see this one has smaller leaves, two layers, and I can see there are insects crawling on this one, actually. What I can see on this plant is thrips as well. So thrips and they've had green aphids. And that is because they were outside my apartment, it, there's hardly any wind, and they're in pots and there's no rain that falls on them or anything like that. So it's very easy for all of these pests to be able to colonize on a sapling like this. And that's why they need to get out amongst everything else because then the beneficial insects will also be around 
and we'll be able to get these plants stronger and healthier. They probably need some more nutrients now as well. So that's the next one. And despite that, they're still fine. This one has a new leaf that's starting to push out actually. So now look at this example here. This one has much nicer leaves. It has a little bit more oak shape on the leaf here and bright green. So imagine these when they start getting more of the form of the oak leaves and then in the autumn when they turn bright red. What a contrast that's going to be. Look at this closer. So all of this after nine months of germinating. I'm just so pleased these plants are being introduced quite a lot into Scandinavia at the moment. They're hardy plants, they're very good for planting out in cities and so forth, but they're very beautiful as well. And that's why I want to have some examples in my garden. Now, as I said, I have six examples. I've been placing them out in different areas and I'm not expecting all six of these to be able to survive to adulthood. But if I get a couple or at least one that grows up and becomes a beautiful tree, then I will be so happy. If I can look back in 10, 15, 20 years and say, look at that tree, I planted that and I grew it up from seed, from an acorn, and now it's this beautiful majestic tree, that is going to make me so, so happy. So basically I haven't done anything extra special. I bought a normal gardening mixture of soil and I planted these in there with a mixture of sand, maybe some biochar, I can't remember exactly. And well, I've left them to do their thing. I've been watering them. They haven't been in direct sun for the most part. But they have had some early morning sun because in my apartment, the sun comes around from the east, but it's under a kind of um, cover out in our outdoor terrace garden area. So they get a little bit and then most of it is indirect bright light and they've really enjoyed that and that is perfect for saplings they really don't do very well if they are put in bright direct light it will burn out the leaves they will shrivel up they will dry out they won't be able to cope with the bright direct light but they do need light to sustain this new growth and that's what's happened with these so that's absolutely fabulous so now i just need to get on and get these out in my garden and then i will take you with me so you can see where i've placed them out in the garden just so that you get an understanding of the different areas that I've decided I'm going to try to get them to grow in. And then we'll see what happens. So remember, this is a nine month period up to now, the day they're going to be planted out in my garden. I think I started my stratification around the 5th of October, 2021. And today is the 6th of June, 2022. The day that I plant out my Northern Red Oaks Quercus rubra. So let me go and plant and then I'll take you along to see how they look. Before I show you my wonderful trees planted out, I just want to go back in time so you can see how they were when they were in one pot together, stratifying in my fridge for five months approximately at around about five degrees Celsius. Then I took them out, I washed the acorns because they had a kind of fungus growing around them, so they were kind of white and then they were very clean. And you can see that they'd all grown out their lovely little precious roots. So I potted them up and then they started growing out. And you can see when they were younger, you can see the red color of their leaves much clearer than later on where they're very, very green. So this just gives an indication of how they're going to be in the autumn time. And I just can't wait to see them carry on growing and maturing out now to big and majestic, gorgeous trees that I have taken care of right from the very beginning of their germination. <laughs> so, right, I have planted out all of my Quercus rubra and the first two I've planted out out here so if you look down here I already had some wooden frames in the ground where I had some red apple trees so I have a good soil already in this frame so I've decided to plant out one of my Quercus rubra here and I have another one on this side in another frame as well. So down here, 
there's the other one. No weeds around in the frame, plenty of space to grow out. And you're probably wondering, well, why would you plant it under this viburnum ritidophyllum? Well, that's because there's lots of space there. This tree will grow out taller with its trunk than the viburnum bush. And I'm not sure if my viburnums are going to be staying in these positions here. As you see, this one gets way too much sun and it's quite chlorotic. So I need something else coming up that's going to be stable behind if I decide to move them. So that's the first two. Right, so let's go and find the next one, which is, so that was West Side Garden, by the way. Now we're going over through the Botanical Garden and where I planted the next one. So let's have a look around the corner here. In Yorkim's Corner, I have planted one, let's see if I can get back there. Get in here, this is turning into a real vlog. <laughs> there it is, down there, in amongst all of this. The other one is down here. And in this corner I have a lot of rhododendrons, but again, as I said, it's a tree. It will grow up in between all of this and it has a space to grow. You see here up in the light. So there's a space there. And our cottage is over here. So it would be really nice to be able to see that tree in the autumn when it's nice and red from the window. So now we'll carry on to through Silver Way here and go around to the right where we have the Garden of New Beginnings and here I've planted one too, uh, two actually. So I have one I planted here, you see there, and that will come up in front of our cottage here and has an open space there to come up. So I'm looking forward to that. And you notice I've put them in spaces where they're quite protected from any nibbling animals. Then I decided to put one actually down here. If I can find it. Yes, look at this. Down here, here it is, amongst all of the wonderful lily of the valley that's coming up at the moment. Look at these. Absolutely beautiful. And while we're here, look at the crystal in this rock. Gorgeous. So that will come up there. And again, I've put that there because I'm thinking of taking down the Populus tremula I have here, Aspen. I have many of those, so I'd like that to take that one's position. And then we'll go round into Crystal Woods and have a look at one that I planted out in Triangle Garden. So, this is Crystal Woods. I need to get out and stream the pathways here. But I have a mound here and on this mound, there in the middle, I've planted one too. And again, this garden is an area that's taking off. I planted out a lot of fern in here that I split and I did that in another video that you can go back and see that this is how all those ferns that I split and put out here are doing and all the other plants and it's getting greener and you can see silver way over there so this tree will also have space in the canopy here, a big hole here, to grow up. 
So this should work out really well. For that one too. So I just want to say this has been an absolutely wonderful and fun process for me, a nine month process. And now I have my six trees out round and about in the garden and we'll see which ones take off and turn into beautiful trees. The last one, just behind me here, in my hand. <laughs> so I really hope you've been inspired to go out and find yourself some acorns and try this for yourself and really enjoy the process. So all I have to say now is thank you very much once again for watching Gardens and Crystals with me, Wesley Peterson. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when my next video will be coming up and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.